anti-vaccine Republicans seem to be making um, an interesting argument about control and human bodies that I want to get into. So it's fascinating to watch anti-abortion lawmakers rage against the vaccine, especially when their arguments against the vaccine tend to conflict with how they don't believe women should be able to control their own bodies when it comes to the issue of reproductive rights. Now here's anti-abortion GOP representative Glenn Grothman on the House floor, uh, basically speaking out against vaccine mandates. Whether, Whether they, they, their doctors have told them don't take it because you already have antibodies, you have too many antibodies, the vaccine is going to make you sick. Whether it's doctors who tell their patients you better not take the vaccine, you've, uh, your cancer's in remission, the vaccine can weaken you and bring it back. Again and again and again, it appalls me that Dr. Biden decides to weigh in and knows better what for these people uh, than what their own doctors do. Not to mention there's plenty of things on the internet, which may be true, even though they try to take them down and keep us in the dark, indicating that, that some people, very articulate people, believe the vaccines are not for you anyway and there are other ways to deal with the problem. It is such a gross grab of power to think you can tell other people what you have to do with your own body. Okay. Fascinating. Fascinating. Seems to not be a fan of the government telling people what they can and can't do with their own bodies. By the way, um, he's so extreme in his anti-abortion, anti-reproductive rights stance that um, Grothman has received a 0% rating from the pro-choice nonprofit NARAL, um, which doesn't surprise me. But hey, when it comes to the vaccine, he wants to make sure that you have the right to do whatever you want to do with your body, even though we're talking about uh, a deadly pandemic. So let, let's see who's consistent and who isn't. He says you should have a blanket right to do what you want with your body. Does he actually believe that? Of course not. So he doesn't believe uh, that a woman should be allowed to control his body. But also I it would wager that if you ask him about marijuana, drugs, uh, a thousand other things, uh, um, gay marriage, gay adoption, etc. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to do that, 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 or that with your body. Uh, but hey, uh, I my party has lost its mind, so we're going to try to get you to not take a life saving vaccine. All of a sudden, I care about your uh, the freedom of your body and and your control over it. Right. So now that's the Republicans. Now how about us? Are we principled? Well, we say you should be able to do anything you want with your body as long as it doesn't affect anyone else. That's an easy principle, right? So um, if you're any kind of sex you want to have, have that. It ain't my business. You want to smoke this? You want to drink that? That's not my business. Uh, and if you uh, and if you're pregnant, if the uh, per, if the the fetus inside you has become an independent living. Uh, being meaning that he can survive outside the womb, you've gotten a viability. Then we say, whoa, 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 that affects someone. Then you can no longer do what you want because that's two independent human beings. But until then, it's dependent on the mother, and the mother can, of course, do whatever she wants with her body. So we're perfectly consistent. Um, and then, uh, so you say, well, how about the vaccine? You're making people take it, and that goes into their body. But guys, we've done that forever in this country, and and it's because. When you have a disease that is contagious, yes, we have to protect not just ourselves, but the community from it. So it's like saying, well, just because I have rabies doesn't mean you have you, you have the right to treat it. I, I think I should get to bite you whenever I want when I have rabies. No, no, the government protects us from activities that you do that affect us. You can't punch someone else in the face and you can't give them a contagious disease. And so the We've had vaccines for the entire history of America. In fact, we would have lost the Revolutionary War to the British if George Washington hadn't mandated a small uh, smallpox vaccine to his troops. And so it's been here since the very beginning. The Republicans wanted to make a political issue out of it, and all of a sudden, they care about what you do with your own body. It's it's a it's an obvious lie.